I wanted to do an inspirational video. This is the first year we have tried to put food up. I know this doesn't look like a lot to some of you guys because some of you guys are like really serious. You know what you're doing as far as your canning and your gardening and uh, you know you just do tremendous work in the garden. But this was my first year and my first serious attempt. And this is from one man working a garden. Nobody helped me. It was just me. And I learned a lot. I had several failures along the way. But one important thing that I did learn is I can do this. And you can too. And I didn't go big dollar on this. And you don't have to either. I started my plants from seeds. Um, the plant survival rate was great. I mean, it was so good that I was actually able to give away a lot of plants, which, you know, was really cool. Um, I raised some tomatoes, some squash, bell peppers, habaneros, green beans, okra, cucumbers. Uh, got some pumpkin and some vegetables. Still got a lot out in the garden yet to get in. Um, my canning jars I got from yard sales of all places. I would actually go to a yard sale and, and um, I'd look around. If I didn't see any canning jars, I'd say, hey, you wouldn't happen to have any canning jars for sale, would you? And you'll be surprised. A lot of times they'd say, well, I didn't think anybody would buy them, so I didn't set them out. And they'd go pick four or five jars up or a little bit more maybe and bring them back. And I'd buy them. So I'd get them just for pennies on the dollar, what they would cost at a store. Um, and one thing that I did, it was my biggest score is that I actually put an ad on a classified online site that was local saying that I wanted canning jars and any canning advice I could get because I wanted to get into it. Had um, this guy call me and he said, well, my father passed away recently and he used to can and he's got some canning jars in his, and uh, if you're interested in them. And so I said, yeah. And so I went over his house. I had no idea what I was getting into. And I went over his house, and the man literally had hundreds of canning jars. I was like, wow. You know, and so we're loading these jars into the back of my truck, and I'm sitting there thinking, this is going to cost me an arm and a leg. And I said, well, after we got done, I said, well, what do I owe you? And he said, are you going to use these jars, or are you going to sell them? I said, well, I'm going to use them. He said, well, then you can have them for free. I like to fell on the ground. I mean, I was like, wow. And I looked at him and I said, you have blessed me today. Before I left, I, I wrote him a check for, you know, just a thank you, basically. And um, I left with hundreds of these jars. Now, a lot of them still had food in them. I had to clean them out. Um, but wow, what a deal. What a great deal. So, that was my biggest score in canning jars and it was pretty much free. Um, let's see. As you can see in the back, I also froze some. So uh, I learned to blanch and uh, put them in freezer bags, and that was great. You know, and that's one good thing about all this is that you learn a new skill. And I'm very appreciative of what people go through to, to put all this up. Um, as you can see on the right, I used a, the money that I saved basically went into the canner. It's an all-American 930 canner. I did an unboxing of it earlier this year. And yeah, it was, you know, it was some money. I'll be honest with you. But I'm going to be able to use that canner for years and years. So, um, I feel like it was a really good buy. So, I said all that to say this. You can do this. You can do this. And now is the time to get started. Um, for example, you can go ahead and buy your lids and your rings. Uh, you can go ahead and start finding your jars. Like I said, I would use classified sites. If, you, if you've got the opportunity to do an online, local, classified site. Um, you can go and get your seeds. You can get your seeds. You can put them in the freezer. That's what I did. So I bought all these things even before I got to this year of planning, and it really worked out well for me. So we're at the point now, or I'm at the point where the garden is slowing down. Um, I still have some more canning to do, and but what I thought was going to be a chore, it actually turned out to be a pleasant surprise. So I encourage you, get started in this. This is something that will help you become self-sufficient. And uh, wow, I mean, I, I look at this and I think, wow, you know what? 
if I get snowed in, I get snowed in, you know? <laughs> so it's great. I learned new skills. I learned pickling. I learned blanching. I learned canning. And I learned it on my own. And needless to say, there's tons of videos on YouTube that can help you as well. So if you have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll answer the best that I can. But, you know, just do it. You can do this. You can do it on a budget. You can do this.